Greetings. This is a health navigator. Today we will present the results of a very interesting experiment. There is a paradox in modern medicine. There are more and more drugs and treatments. The treatment itself becomes more and more expensive, and people are getting sick more and more often. Today you can find a lot of recommendations of folk remedies for the recovery of the human body. We decided to study them in detail during the experiment. In today's program we discuss the effect of baking soda, hydrogen peroxide and a wormwood-based mixture of herbs on the human bloodstream. Why wormwood, baking soda and peroxide? Interesting facts. Wormwood. The name of wormwood is derived from the Greek word Artemisia, Artemis meaning health, as it has been regarded as an elixir of health at all times and by all peoples. Artemisia is one of the oldest medicinal plants. In ancient Rome it was revered as a herb that gave people fearlessness, strength, relief from fatigue, relief from muscle pain and protection from poisoning. Mention of wormwood and its healing properties can be found in the papyri of ancient Egypt. It was also known in China and ancient Greece. Hippocrates traveled to the Black Sea coast and wrote about its magical healing properties. A thousand and a half years later, in his Canon of Medicine, Avicenna described the medicinal properties of wormwood and recommended it as a component of many medicinal mixtures. Popularly, it was called wormwood, bitter, wild pepper, slavenwood, and fellow herb. Sodium bicarbonate – medical properties In ancient times, sodium bicarbonate or natrum was a sacred substance among the Egyptians and generally had a legendary fame among various peoples. It was extracted from the soda lakes and was highly valued. In the annals of the ancient Slavs, there are recipes for healing potions from the ancient wise men which included spring water, honey and sodium bicarbonate. The use of this drink led to gaining strength and stamina. It is a real energy drink that increases the organism's capacity for work. Nowadays, people visit sanatoriums and resorts where they drink this alkaline water and note its positive impact on their health. It has been noticed that people living in areas with natural sources of alkaline waters suffer less from oncological diseases. Sportsmen use baking soda for recovery and to relieve fatigue, which utilizes lactic acid and increases the body's resources. Hydrogen peroxide the chemical formula of hydrogen peroxide is H2O2, which means it contains two hydrogen molecules and two oxygen molecules. It is known that peroxide is produced in small concentrations in all cells of the body and is an important link in biochemical processes. Under the action of enzymes, peroxide is quickly broken down into water and atomic oxygen, which is a powerful oxidant and activates the antioxidant system in the body. Peroxide is involved in redox processes, regulation of acid-base balance and all metabolic processes in the body. Many physicians compare the effects of peroxide in the body with ozone therapy, as the action of ozone is also based on the release of atomic oxygen. Interesting facts about the effects of peroxide in the body. It is produced by the cells of the immune system, leukocytes, histiocytes, and has a destructive effect on microorganisms and their toxins. It accelerates regeneration of tissues. It improves microcirculation and promotes saturation of tissues with oxygen. It supports oxidation of excess fat in the body, thus preventing the deposition of cholesterol on the vascular wall. Hydrogen peroxide does not have a toxic effect on the body as it is quickly broken down by enzymes and does not accumulate during long-term use. Historically, in official medicine, hydrogen peroxide has been used externally as an antiseptic, for mechanical cleansing of wounds and as a styptic. Hydrogen peroxide in alternative medicine is used internally to treat many diseases, including infectious ones, viral, bacterial and fungal. While preparing this issue, we came across an interesting scientific article, Biological and Chemical Effects of Endogenous and Exogenous Hydrogen Peroxide on Human Cellular Structures, in the International Journal of Applied and Basic 
Research, the fourth issue, 2017. The scientists investigated the biological effects of hydrogen peroxide on body cells in various pathologies and concluded, as hydrogen peroxide is an inexpensive substance that cannot be patented and has no commercial value, it can be considered the most promising to study its mechanisms of action on the body for the prevention, treatment and rehabilitation of neurodegenerative brain damage and other diseases. Our experiments involved three popular remedies. One part of mugwort, two parts of tansy flowers, a half part of licorice root, a half part of calendula flowers are mixed with one third part of caraway and clove seeds. It was taken by five participants. This mixture was grinded in a coffee grinder, one third of a teaspoon was taken in the morning, 20 to 30 minutes before the meal with 200 milliliters of warm water. Hydrogen peroxide intake. 10 drops of hydrogen peroxide diluted in 200 milliliters of warm water taken in the morning on an empty stomach 20 to 30 minutes before the meal. Soda intake. A teaspoon of baking soda without the topping was dissolved in 200 milliliters of boiled water at room temperature. The solution was taken warm once a day in the morning 20 to 30 minutes before the meal. 15 volunteers aged 20 to 60 years participated in the experiment. Participants had capillary blood drawn from their fingers. The first one was taken before the experiment, the second one 30 minutes after the ingestion of the selected component, and the third one two weeks after the end of daily ingestion of one of the indicated products. Doctors evaluated the condition of red blood cells and blood smears under a microscope. Normally, red blood cells are negatively charged, so that they repel each other and are separated from each other. This state of red blood cells is also maintained by the slightly alkaline state of the blood plasma, which has a pH of 7.35 to 7.45. If the negative charge of the red blood cells decreases, they stick together and form so-called coin columns. The aggregation, sticking of red blood cells, changing their shape and size, impairs the transport of oxygen and carbon dioxide and increases the viscosity of the blood. This leads to oxygen starvation of the tissues, acidification, impaired lymph outflow from the tissues and impaired cellular metabolism. This increases the risk of inflammatory and infectious processes in the body. The results and their discussion. The first thing to note is that all 15 participants had poor or very poor functional status of their red blood cells before the experiment. In addition to the presence of long, dense mint columns of red blood cells, altered forms of red blood cells in the form of echinocytes were observed in four individuals prior to the experiment. An echinocyte is a deformed erythrocyte whose membrane becomes deformed due to various pathological influences, forming prickly protrusions, which leads to impairment of its function. After cessation of the pathological influence, the echinocyte takes back its disc shape. Let us consider the effect of taking a mixture of herbs with wormwood on the condition of the blood. 30 minutes after taking the mixture of herbs with wormwood, four participants improved the functional state of their red blood cells and one participant remained unchanged. Two weeks after the herbal mixture with wormwood had been administered, the functional state of red blood cells improved significantly in four participants, which was reflected in the flaking of red blood cells into small coin-like columns and the appearance of freestanding red blood cells in the blood smear. One participant had no positive change in the blood sample. Also, one participant, two weeks after taking the herbal mixture with mugwort, had the most favorable condition of red blood cells, when they were completely separate and loose, of normal shape. The use of hydrogen peroxide solution also had a positive effect on the condition of the blood. 30 minutes after taking the hydrogen peroxide solution, the condition of the red blood cells improved in three subjects, while in two participants there was no change. Two weeks after taking hydrogen peroxide solution, the functional state of red blood cells improved in four participants of the experiment. One participant showed no positive change. The intake of baking soda solution also improved the functional status of the blood. 30 minutes after taking the baking soda solution, the functional status of erythrocytes improved in two participants, 
while in three participants there was no change. Two weeks after taking the baking soda solution, three participants improved the functional state of their red blood cells. One participant's blood condition did not change, and one participant was unable to give blood after two weeks. Conclusions of the experiment Initially, 100% of the participants of the experiment had poor or very poor functional status of their red blood cells before taking the remedies, indicating impairment of the body as a whole. Even a single use of the indicated agents, in most cases, improves the functional state of the blood. An even more significant improvement in blood function was observed when the above remedies were used for two weeks. No side effects have been observed with ingestion, neither with a single dose, nor with a course of treatment. This indicates their safety, provided that the recommendations for intake, method, dose, and duration of use are followed. It was observed that the blood values were better before and after the experiment in people who observed the drinking regime. But something else was noticed during the experiment. The cameraman of the shoot also decided to take a blood test. He had perfect readings, although he said that he ate as much as he could and did not stick to the drinking regime. The group noticed that the cameraman was in a good and positive mood, smiling and happy to be alive. As participants began to look at the blood and admire the result, the blood and the glass under the microscope began to clot and stick together into coin-like columns. This suggested a link between a person and their blood at a distance. Another participant had a very good reading after taking baking soda for two weeks. And we offered to watch a video of a traffic accident for 12 minutes. The blood began to deteriorate immediately when the person heard the news. And after 12 minutes of watching it, it had a very bad blood count, confirming the impact of the information on the person. It turns out that the information we pay attention to affects not only our emotional state and mood, but also the physical composition of our blood. What is primary? In today's consumer society, most medicine is aimed at maximizing the profit from treating sick people. Doctors' protocols use medicines and treatments that are as expensive as possible. The use of inexpensive, affordable and effective treatments and the prevention of disease is economically disadvantageous in the consumer society format. The medical profession itself has become a hostage to this consumerist state of society. That is why there is an urgent need to change the format of society to the creative one. After all, in a creative society, medicine will be of high quality, accessible to everyone everyone and will be aimed at keeping people healthy and preventing disease. Taking into consideration positive results of our experiment, we would like to suggest to scientists and doctors concerned to carry out more extended and deep research of influence on the human organism, possibility of using the mixture of herbs for prophylaxis and treatment of wide range of diseases. If you have any questions, please write them in the comments section or to the email of Health Navigator Project.